Now it is time to discover what are the metrics behind the strategy of LinkedIn. So, well, here we have two different data sources. The first one is LinkedIn pages and the other one is LinkedIn ads. So let's take a look to um, this report template that we have created and you will see that I have all the information that is necessary to understand the performance of our profile. Before getting into this report, I want to show you the part or the analytics section in LinkedIn. So here we have different um, layers of information. If you click here and go to the analytics um, tab, you will see that there are different types of metrics in terms of visitors, updates, followers, competitors, and of course, leads. So I highly recommend you to get familiar with these metrics before exploring any analytics tool. So here, I have information related to my profile and this is the only one that I'm going to dis display here because this will be an uh, integrated report. So I don't want to overwhelm my um, team in terms that they receive a huge report with a lot of metrics that are really hard to understand and visualize. You can use this LinkedIn Pages Insights template to display your key company's profile metrics in a simple and dynamic visualization. Keep an eye on your content strategy and using this dashboard, you will see the main insights to discover what are the actions that you have to take related to the content you share in your LinkedIn page. As you can see here, I have two data sources. Well, the first one is related to LinkedIn ads and you will be able to uh, display and see what are the metrics that are integrated in our report. And here you will see uh, the difference between the LinkedIn pages metrics. So this section is focused more on the organic part and this section that is telling me the performance of my page. In this report, you can visualize all the metrics that you need to track constantly in order to improve or to address the right message to your target audience in LinkedIn company pages. So you can check it and every time you need uh, to integrate a new metric, you can do this by editing this report. In this first section, I'm displaying three types of analysis. The first one is related to uh, the audience. The second one is related to my followers. And the third one is related to the performance of my page overall. Also, I integrated here um, a, a table where you can see there is a um, little uh, display or an analysis about the content performance of my uh, LinkedIn page. And here I have some industries and here I have a donut graph and here I have a map to understand the followers and where are they from. Once you click here or at any graph, you will see the metrics that are integrated here. Probably you don't need to display the same metrics because your analysis will be focused or probably is focused on different contents or in different KPIs. So I recommend you to go through the objectives of your campaign or your communication objectives and see what are the most common metrics or the most important metrics that you need to visualize information in a single report. In this case, I have two metrics that to me are important in terms of relevance. In this case, I'm measuring the reach and also the impressions. As you can see here, there is a gap or there is a difference between, between these two metrics. And the impressions is because these are the times that a message or a content is displayed in any of our screens. And here, the reach is different because here is more um, the audience that you are reaching. So who's this person or who's this user that is um, seeing your content? So here, the relation, it is um, so important to me. I also integrated a third metric here to see if there is relevance or if there is any relation in terms of what I'm displaying and how my people or how my audience is responding to any single message that I am creating and sharing uh, 
through my LinkedIn pages. The second one, this section is focused more on the um, type of followers that I have and obviously um, how my growth looks like. In this case, I have two metrics. I have the new organic followers and I have also the new paid followers. But here, as you can see, is a complementary analysis of this metric that I am displaying here, that is new followers. In this section, I have the engagement or the performance of my content and how this content is, uh, I will understand if my content is relevant or not to my audience. I also have here complementary metrics that are reactions and obviously the engagement rate. I have here the page views and this is also really important to me to read the relation between the engagement of my page and how my content is um, visualized or consumed by, my, uh, by the users that are looking at my content. And last but not least, I have the information of my post. So if I go here, I will see metrics like engagement rate. I will see here the CDR that it is also important uh, when I have a, a website and I need to drive my audience. So for example, I work on the HR of a company. And to me, it's really important that new applicants get into that link. So probably I pull that uh, information and I put that link here to make sure that people are landing into um, my content on my website. So here I will have new candidates and we'll have um, more people who are applying to the position that I have open. And also here is important uh, to understand that the relevance of this social media is based on the reactions and the comments that my content received. So if in this case I have 36 reactions, it is probably that I have more CDR, a higher CDR and a higher engagement rate. So that's why it is important to integrate different metrics in only one analysis. And here I have some industries that helps me a lot in the content crea creation. So for example, here I have information that the 29% of my, uh, of the people who follow me is um, working on the sales industry. I also have here a 27% that are working on operations and uh, accounting business or different industries that are relevant to the content that I share. And here is the, um, a map of the location where my followers are from. Let's go to the next page of this report. In this section, you will see similar metrics than um, those that are, we already saw on the first page, but here these are focused only on the paid side. So here I have, for example, reach, I have impressions, I have frequency. I don't have any account connected here of I don't have uh, I, I don't have ads running right now at this moment. So for example, that's why you will see everything on zero, but I'm gonna go through the different metrics and why, why they are important to your strategy. Here you will find some questions and these questions probably are the most frequently asked questions that you will face working on digital marketing industry. You will see uh, that there is like a really common question that is how my campaign is performing. Well, you can discover that or you can get to the answer to that question based on the metrics that you defined or that you have determined as the main indicators to visualize or to be able to answer those questions. For example, if that is in terms of cost, I probably need to understand what is the click-through rate that I deliver with a specific amount of money that I have uh, determined as the budget for this campaign or for any specific piece of content. I also have here another question that is the, uh, the cost per action. And this one is really important because it, um, it is different depending on the industry that um, we are working at. Here I have the information of my campaigns in a specific period and also I have here a table so I will see the campaign um, by group by name and also I will identify how many clicks I had um, 
got during the during this specific time and also what is the click-through rate and also what is the cost per click and obviously the leads if that is one of my goals if you want to understand deeper what are the metrics that are important to integrate in your report, you can go here to portermetrics.com and discover every single tutorial that we have prepared for our connectors. So here you can see some use cases. You will see here how to connect all your LinkedIn ads or your LinkedIn pages to the to Google Data Studio. You can also start your free trial by, by clicking here in this button. So probably that will make your life easier. Here you can determine what is the data source that you want to include in your report. In this case, I'm going to use the LinkedIn pages connector and you will see that an automatic template will be delivered to you as soon as you connect your data with Google. There is also one cool thing that I want to share with you. And this time you can go here to the resources tab and click here on templates. Once you're here on templates, you can discover the templates by the most used um, data source. So for example, here you can explore or all the LinkedIn ads uh, templates. Or if you, for example, have a specific use case, so for example, you want to create a funnel visualization and you don't want to spend a lot of time by thinking about what are the metrics that I need to integrate here, you probably can go here and find the report that better fits your needs. This opportunity I'm displaying here, this dashboard, and this is uh, related to the product that we already discovered. This one is LinkedIn pages. You will see here um, a funnel of the metrics that are important to visualize in a dashboard. Also the most relevant metrics around engagement. And you can explore here the visualization um, page by page. And obviously you can click here and download the templates for free. This is how this report looks like. And here I have different metrics, but also the cool thing that I have here is the setup page. So here I can see everything that is included in any in every single dashboard. And also I can go here through this menu and discover the metrics and dimensions list. I also can discover more templates. So uh, let's go take a look and see what are the visualizations that are more eye-catchy and more relevant for you.